here we have pecan, or pecan, depending upon how you'd like to say it. It's in the family Juglandaceae, in the genus Caria, and the specific epithet is Illinoisensis. So the species name is Caria illinoisensis. Let's take a closer look at some of its features. The bark of pecan has thin ridges that come up and a little bit of fissure here, not incredibly deep, and it's flecked with different colors of browns, grays, uh, and a little bit of lighter brown or tan coloring. It's fairly distinct from some of the other trees that we've looked at or that you might encounter. The pecan is alternately arranged, you can see. The newest twig is lightly fuzzy and green colored. As it ages, it'll become this uh, gray-brown color and it will lose much of its fuzz. Here you can see the terminal bud pointed. It has fuzzy scales over it. And then in the axle of the leaf, you see the lateral buds, again, pointed and pointing out almost at a 45 degree angle out of where the leaf and the stem attach. Pecan has a pinnately compound leaf. So here we see the petiole connected to the central rachis and then individual leaflets as it moves up. Pecan will typically have a terminal leaflet. These are just the beginnings of the pecans or pecans that would come out, so the fruit. They have a husk that starts out as this green color. Uh, that will peel off and you can see these lines or sutures, that's where this will essentially peel. Now these are just starting blown off in a windstorm and so they'll be maybe two to three times this size when fully mature. Inside there would be a harder shell and inside the shell is the nut itself. Pecan can be a medium to large tree, not uncommon to have a single trunk for some distance up before it starts to break into a decurrent or deliquescent form.